Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a super easy and delicious salmon dip or spread. No cooking involved, just put it together, a few common ingredients, and you're set for a party, a get-together, or a romantic evening for two. So, to get us started very simply, I'm going to take one 250 gram pack of softened cream cheese. Do yourself a favor, make sure it's at room temperature or at the very least softened because it's your nerves. Next, I'm going to take a quarter cup of mayonnaise and it's going to go in as well. And all I'm going to do at this point, without getting it all over the place, is soften it up, mash it all together so it becomes incorporated, so it becomes all mixed in and becomes one. Now, this is something that can take you literally only a few minutes to prepare, and then all you do is just pop it in your fridge. The longer you put it in your fridge, the more it will actually uh, firm up on you, and it's totally up to you what the density or consistency you want. All right, perfect. All it takes is this, boom. My mayo and cream cheese are mixed. The next thing to go in is about a tablespoon of grated onion. I want, I don't want any heavy kind of, or big onion chunks in this. I don't want anybody uh, biting into this like raw onion. So what I've done is I've actually grated it, about a tablespoon. Now. If you don't want to do that, you can also add a tablespoon of onion powder. Will work totally fine as well. This is absolutely one of my favorite dips. You can serve this with veggies, you can serve this with crackers, whatever it is you like, it will work. The next thing, the star of our show, is salmon. In this case, I am using two cups of uh, salmon. In this case, I'm just using the regular canned stuff. You can use pink, you can use sockeye, soho, whatever. Uh, it will totally work. I've also made this with smoked salmon and it is out of this world. It is like kick-ass good. That's how, how good it is. All right, next thing to go in is a pinch of salt or two will go in. Fresh cracked black pepper. I'm gonna take about a cup of shredded uh, cheddar cheese. Now, this is where you have options. You can do whatever you like. I'm using cheddar, I'm keeping it pure into the recipe. I've also made this again, believe it or not, with feta. I know. And what you do is just combine again the cheddar, the grated cheddar. You can use crumbled feta, you can use a smoked cheese as well. It works super awesome with this, totally, totally, uh, totally great and it's just one of these recipes you can twist it around and make it your own so easily all right and the last thing to go in is a quarter cup of chopped pimento olives and you can use Kalamata olives of course but in this case I also like the color the green and the red of the pimentos will actually make this almost like a festive vibe which is totally cool. So, my friends, here it is. Literally, it only took me just four or five minutes tops to make this. Now, I'm just gonna take this, put it in a nice serving bowl, throw it in the fridge for like half an hour to an hour, and I am good to go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this very short and sweet episode on my salmon dip or my salmon spread. Try this for yourself, make this for somebody else, share this. Subscribe if you haven't already, love getting new subscribers. Or just say hi, give me a shout, say hi, I love getting messages. And check me out online as well at kensgreettable.com. And until next time, I thank you so much for watching, see you, bye for now.